Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, got Chris with me. Hey y'all. And we wanted to do this um, a little bit differently. Um, we brought Chris in because we have some additional information that our father wanted us to um, get into the class. And he's even right now reminding me of, a cl of something people wanted to know about drawing lots. Okay. So just at this very second, we're going to actually do something about drawing lots. But before we get started, we want to say a prayer. Right? We're going to let you say the prayer. We want you to pray for the class and those listening to the class. Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, blessed be thy name. Lord, we ask you to bless this class and allow it to show your word in a way that you want it to be shown. And we'll ask you to allow the people who listen to the class to be able to hear and absorb the teachings and I ask you to help us with all of our health in your son's name amen and so be it all right so now we want to draw lots um well we know we're not actually want to draw lots we want to talk about drawing lots right now i had thought we had um, done a class on the dream I had with the deer. Did we ever record that? Um, deer that had turned into a girl. Yeah, I'm not sure. No, I wouldn't. I, that wasn't. I know I didn't record it when I first had it because I was like, no, that's, that that was a bad dream. <laughs> that was a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so we. We're going to talk about that, but before we do, um, we want to explain the way we do lots. You want to explain how we do lots? So the way that we do lots is first we pray for the Father's will, and after we've all done that, then we put up our hands and we throw out random numbers, well, random to us, and then we add them all together adding it up so if we get a 13 then we add the 3 and the 1 together and make a 4 and if it's even then it's yes and if it's odd then it's no so and what is 10? 10 is a 1 1 plus 0 so that's no right, right. what about uh, 33? 33 is 3 plus 3 6 which is what? even yes so, um so that's how we do it real simple. Now there is another way that I do use very rarely and that's with stones. I grab like what they call water rocks and write alpha on, or oh, I'm sorry, I write alef on one side and I write tav on the other side mm -hmm. and then I pray, you know, asking that they will forever be used for his will and then of course when you use them we pray again and that's important to, to understand that the words in the prayer, especially the initial words, have to be correct when you pray, right Chris? Right. You want to talk to him about that? Well, the first words that you say in the prayer is like giving an address and also putting you in the right state of mind for the prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, mm -hmm. right. blessed be thy name. And the scripture tells you to concentrate on each word. Right. Sometimes I say it three times just to make sure I'm, yeah, especially, you know, yeah. It's just important to concentrate on each word, so whatever it takes. Yeah. And then after you do that, then you ask for the will. Because if you don't, if you don't do that, you just throw on the dice. You might as well get you some dice and don't even yeah. worry about it, right? Right. Flip a coin, right? Right. You might as well flip a coin. But when you when you put your the prayer in the correct way, like Chris said, you have to get the address right. Like you said over there in in, in the, in the um, um, Lord's Prayer then when you ask for his will you can expect it there right then it becomes special right and so you can roll with those answers and then i was thinking i was thinking on this it was like being in a maze and somebody drop you in a maze mm -hmm. now if we drop you in a maze and you don't have a plan you're kind of on your own right right but then if you know the instructor or the master gives you a plan and a map and tells you to go through there you know how much more confidence are you, are you going to have an infinite amount more. I mean, look, right, what if there's a lion in the way? Mm -hmm. Your first thought is what? 
do I go left, right? Yeah, how do you get around this way? line? Like, oh, okay, how am I going to get past this? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. not, never turn back, right? right? You don't even think backwards, right? So let me tell you guys about this dream. Now, we're hunters, right? Right. right? You know, I'm talking to them. They've been listening to this channel. It's, you know, you guys know that we are hunters. You know, we have no problem telling you guys that. You know, that is how, you know, our Father in Heaven, you know, provides for us is, you know, he makes a deer turn completely crazy and walk out there in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> we obviously don't know what we're doing. Praise the Father, you know, he does take care of us. But um, I had this dream. So I'm, I'm in this hunting house and I'm um, there and all of a sudden there are deer under our feeder, exactly where our feeder is. So everything is exact in the same, same feel. Everything is the exact same as it is out there right now at this second. Mm -hmm. You know, the feeder's out there. It's 100 feet, it's 100 yards away, 100 feet away uh, from the stand. So um, we can't see the feed, so it's perfectly legal. And um, and I have a license to uh, bait here in, the, in Alabama. And, but anyway, so I'm out here, hunt license, everything, strapped, ready to go, like you're supposed to. And here come a deer, there's two deer out there under the stand. Yeah. Right? And so the deer run towards our house, right? Mm. And the thing about it, as I am approaching the deer to to get to um, retrieve this deer. It was two deer, two, a, a big one and a little one. Mm -hmm. As I'm approaching and walking up on this deer, the scene is slowly changing from a wilderness, forest and trees, grass and woods, to a urban um, basketball court area. You know, like you see on TV with the, in the cities where mm -hmm. everybody be at the court. Yeah, watching everybody by the stand, sitting on a bleacher like some in California or somewhere. You know what I mean? They baller. Yeah, and it's girls on the basketball court, and I am now on the basketball court with my rifle, looking for the deer. No, I am now about to take a shot because these deer have turned into women. And I'm, about, I'm, I'm just only trying to decide which one am I going to shoot, the mama or the daughter, the, the big one or the, or the young one. I decide which one would you shoot. Because I'm, yeah, these are deer. These ain't women. They look like, they only just look like women. Right. And they perfectly look like women with basketballs and everything and drilling up on the coat. But I know they are deer because I, 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 I just follow these. Yeah. Deer. So which one do you shoot? Shoot the big one? No, well, I actually went with the the, the thing on, you know, scriptures say to pick the younger one, mm. you know, so the older one could, you know, go on. So, yeah, I shot the younger one. Okay. Right? And the thing about it, everybody was shocked that I shot this girl on this basketball court, and I couldn't believe it. What's wrong with y'all? It's a deer. And this girl was laid out bleeding to death. And so while they was panicking, I was completely calm and tranquil, like, come on, guys. These are a deer. It's just a deer. Yeah, it's just a deer. We're going to eat this. You know what I mean? We're taking this to the house. What are y'all talking about? I saw it. You know, change. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I ain't crazy. I saw this deer change into this girl. I'm that serious, right? So, you know, I shot her. She's laid out there and she's bleeding to death. And so... <clears throat> the people are still panicking and acting a fool. Cause I done shot this girl, thought this deer. I done shot this deer. I done shot the girl. Cause I done shot this deer. They stay acting a fool. These people are acting a fool. Cause I shot this deer. So while they are panicking about the fact that I've shot this deer, you know, they like, oh my goodness, I can't believe this. But I guess I got a gun in me, so they they don't want to attack me. But I walk up and put my deer in the car. As I'm getting ready to drive to home, yeah, we're taking it home. We're gonna eat this deer. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you was what you do, right? Yeah, that is what you do. So I picks this deer up and I puts it in the car. And in the car comes two other, um, a little boy, a little girl, and a woman, maybe the child's mother, all jump in the car. So now, where it was just me, there's now a bunch of people in this car, yeah. including this girl that's in the back seat. Well, this deer that's in the back seat, it looks like a girl. 
you know, and we go on to the house to cook, to clean it. We're going to skin mm -hmm. it. We're going to skin this girl. And I think our mama's right there in the car. Somebody's in the car. The little boy's in the car. He's the most important one, this boy. This little young boy who's about, I would say, eight, nine, ten years old. He, you know, he's in the front seat. And you, so you got everybody else in the back seat. And so, yeah, we're going, you know, I'm going to take the skin there. I want, why are y'all in here? The car. Why are you, you going to watch me? You want some? <laughs> well, why y'all even here, right? Right. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing. And nothing for them to do. Well, there's nothing out of place for me. No different than if I shot a deer and it ran on your yard. You know what I mean? You know, it's no, well, I guess, you know, y'all coming to help me skin it. So we get, we're in the car and for somehow we have to go through this lock and gate kind of thing, weird kind of exit. Like the car had to pull up to the gate, which was like an elevator, and then it had to climb da -da 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 up to a higher level now mm -hmm. before it was able to drive out. It wasn't no regular gate. Right. So we come out the gate. And um, we're riding down the road, doom, 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 doom. I'm bummed. I don't turn the music. They still, they still tripping. I can hear the girl. I can hear the girl in the back gurgling, like because she's got a bullet hole. I didn't pop both lungs, right? You know me. I'm a double lunger, right? Mm -hmm. So she's gurgling in the back, and I'm still going to the house. Yeah. With this girl, what well, it was just there to clean it, and they're all trying to convince me not. They're all trying to convince me that, you know, this is a girl and not a deer. And I'm not having it. I'm absolutely not having it. This is my car, my deer. We going to my house. Yeah. Whether y'all like it or not, you, I don't care if you ride. I don't even care, you know what I mean? And so we ride and, and then we come to the crossroads. Where it's the choice between we go right to my house. Or we go left to the hospital. And then as I'm sitting there at the stop sign, then I start to, you know, entertain. I'm like, okay, so what's up? But the first thing to mind, and we got to stop here because I've forgotten something. We got to stop right here at this. Now stop out of the dream. Everything I just said has been a dream up until this point. But I need to pause for a second and come back to reality because I forgot that that morning, Oh, I had prayed, and even that week, I had been struggling with whether or not the lots were real or not. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Remember we went through that period where we did the lots, and then for a while, we was like, I don't know if these work. Right. Right? So we went, how long did they last? A few weeks. Yeah, weeks, right? Because you know, we so I was not sure whether these lot, whether we should be following lots or not. Right. So I prayed that period of time. I was obviously praying for a long time, but when this dream came, it was the answer to that. Because right there at the stop sign, I said, okay, guys, well, let's just draw lines. Whether or not she should have to go to the hospital. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, the key element to the dream was that the little boy who I had never seen before, he was from the community. When I said draw lots, he immediately knew what to do. And he pulled out his hands, and it was like one, two, three, boom. And it landed on going to the hospital, and we turned left, and we took the little girl to the hospital, and that was the end of the dream. So he pulled out his hands to do lots instinctually? Just like you would do if I was to say, draw lots. You know, he, he you know, yeah, he was right, he was ready. And he wouldn't have known that. Who else, you know, some child, that, you know, nobody knows how we do, how we do. We made that up, as far as I'm concerned, because there's really not a lot of Bible text to tell you how they did it. There's some that tell you the results and tell you that they were storing them, but as far as how it's done, that's hidden. I believe the Pope got that book. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this came from just meditation and prayer. That, like you said earlier, it's just a random number, right? Yeah. And so, yeah. So that's on lots. Mm -hmm. That's a lot on lots. Ready to go on to something else?